something on like you Rick and you are too scared to push back because you don't know what's going to happen. Oh my God. Amen. And the church said, Amen. Amen. And so if for some reason, you you know, and then everybody don't do this, you know, everybody don't stand there because if you get, some people get pushed, they ready to go throw down, you know. Oh they, you know, they ready to throw down, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to waste no time. Ain't nothing between us but air. So if they get close and they, you know, y'all uh, act like y'all. I, I know there's some people in here, amen, that, that don't, don't even wait to get pushed and just, come on, just start fighting anyway. Amen. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not going to close my eyes. I ain't going to get nobody. Because I know some people in here that I don't even know what the other cheek is. I know what their cheek is. <laughs> <laughs> As the church said, amen. you know, we got some fighting people in here, amen. Yeah. But but see but now we, we fight, fight on other things, but That's we right. punk out on other oh, things. Yes. That's right. yes. Yes. Yes, we, we love fighting that thing that we can see, but what about fighting that thing you can't, can't see? see. Yeah. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us are letting the enemy push our faith. And, and, and faith in God around. Uh -huh. Amen. Some of us are getting pushed around by our faith and we're just letting it happen. And you ever see somebody that they get pushed around so much and all of a sudden they fall into things and they fall on the ground and all of a sudden they start crying. They fall for you pushing. They haven't necessarily run, but they're crying from where they are. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, the Spirit of God is saying to us, we need to learn how to push, push back. back. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor say, push back. Push, push, back. Back. push back. Paul said, Paul says that, that we ought to fight the good fight of faith. Yes. Right. Some of us go around picking a fight just to look for someone to say something Ooh, to it wrong. My God. That's why we don't, that's why, you know, black people don't even be on the hockey team because, you know, they always fight. They just, you know, they just riding around looking for somebody to push up on them. Amen. But we got some people that don't fight. They don't push back. They just let the life beat up on them. And my Bible tells me that you ought to stop letting the devil push on Hallelujah. you. You ought to fight the good fight of faith and begin to stand and let God show up in your life. Amen. And the church say amen. amen. We know how to fight physically. We know what we can fight what we see. But we need to learn how to fight what we don't see. Amen. Because when the enemy comes to us and our lights get cut off or we have lack of food or our emotions happen, then we don't push back what's pushing on us. Mm. But my Bible tells me that when the enemy start pushing your faith in God to trust him, you ought to push back and say, uh, God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. I'm not going to let you stand here and push on me. I know what God has told me. Amen. Hallelujah. Stop letting the enemy push you around. Stop, it. Stop letting life push you down. God has made you more than a conqueror. More than that. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. He's made you more than a conqueror. But that, but there, here's it again. We just stand there and we just get pushed on. Oh, Lord, I don't know why they mess with me. I don't know. I ain't doing nobody. I ain't messing with nobody. We stand Jesus, there and amen. we cry rather than use the rod that we have Jesus. in our hands to be able to say, for God I live and for God I die. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Ooh, push back. Somebody say push back. Push, push back. back. Can I talk just a little bit more? Amen. But when it comes to that spiritual battle, those things we don't see, we let it push us back. Yes, we do. Push us back on our faith. We throw, in other words, while we're believing, let's say we're believing God for something, and this is what I hear, uh, Elder, you know, when, 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 when you are in the military, and Heather and those who are in the military, you understand that, you know, you don't, when you move, when you advance forward, it doesn't mean go backwards. Right. It means advance Amen. forward. Amen. Amen. How do you how do you push back something that you can't see? How do you push back something that you can't grab onto? So we know how to fight in the physical. Amen. I mean, when I was on the police department, I got in a lot of fights. I mean, but there was another fight going on that I didn't see. So even though I had to fight the person that I had to arrest, when I got him in the back of my scout car, I stopped talking Jesus to him. Amen. Because I knew that there was another war going on. Amen. There's some wars going on in the atmosphere, and the Lord is saying that the saints of God need to begin to push Amen. back. Amen. Hallelujah. And not let the enemy push you around on what you're believing God for. So now, how is it that you're going to do it? Here's what I'm going to tell you. The answer the Lord gave me. By doing what Paul said, pressing forward for the high calling in Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Jesus. When, you pray, when you push back of what's coming to you, you push back by the word of God. Mm. Anybody get anything out Amen. of this? You push back by the things that come to you. Amen? Amen. Say push back. push back. Don't let the enemy pick on you. Amen. Israel was not a people that were fighters. Some people are not fighters. Everybody don't know how to fight. Amen. Some people just sit there and go, oh my. Amen. That's just about it. <laughs> and, and so they left them. You know, you ever have, you know, you send your kids to school, and I've taught my kids this, you know, don't go pick and fight. That's not what God's saying. You know, a lot of people want to go pick and fight with the devil. Don't do that. The Bible tells us to stay. Mm -hmm. Having done all what? Stay. stay. And so, but but we're being pushed about about our faith because every time we hear some bad news or every time things don't happen, you know what I'm really finding out? I'm really finding out that the patience is the greatest test of the Christian. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 Because I can believe God will do it, but how long He takes really works on Amen. me. Amen. Amen. And when we think it's long enough, God says, "Uh, -uh it's not long enough yet." Mm. So let patience have its perfect work. But in the Amen. meantime, when the enemy starts pushing on your faith in God about what he promised you, you push back with the word of God. Amen. Push back by speaking into the atmosphere. God already knows what we're going through. He already knows where we are. Amen. Stop letting the enemy push you around. How is he pushing me around? But when we believe, when we believe God something, we pray. I'm just talking now. I'm not trying to preach. When we pray and we believe God for something, all of a sudden when it doesn't happen the way we think it ought to happen or when it doesn't come the way it should come, all of a sudden that's we're being pushed back into things. We're being pushed back. To, in other words, falling back to old way of thinking. Yeah. Falling back to the way we used to do things rather than pushing back by the word of God. Amen. And so if a person does not, not really know how to fight, they don't know what to do. What the Bible is saying by his word, when the enemy comes against you like a flood, he says, I want you to lift up the standard against him. No weapon formed against you Hallelujah. shall what? Wow. Prosper. And it, here's what it says. And you shall, con you, you with your tongue shall yes. condemn yes. that weapon yes. that's coming against you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Did you not know that you have inheritance with your mouth, that death and life are in the power of the tongue, that whatever Hallelujah. you speak will happen in your life. Thank That's you, what the Jesus. word of God said. Amen. That's the Amen. Back. Amen. So every time I get a bill, every time somebody hurts me, or every time I get in a relationship, every time I go, I, 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 I let the enemy push me back into the old way of thinking and doing things rather than pushing it back and say, I'm not going that way no more. Not doing it Amen. No more. Amen. God is doing a new thing in my life. Amen. And I'm not going to let the enemy drag me back and Amen. push me all into my old ways of life. Amen. Hallelujah. But I'm going to stand in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It may not be a long word. That's all I got for you. Amen. The